Those of us who love Pokemon can usually be put into two separate categories. Those that love to build teams and battle Pokemon, and then those that love to find and collect Pokemon. Personally, I am a collector. Pokemon Home has made collecting Pokemon more satisfying than ever, and once I saw the potential of Pokemon Home, I knew that I wanted to create a living Pokedex. A living Pokedex means that you actually have one of every single Pokemon. And a living Pokedex inside of Pokemon Home is the collector's magnum opus, the ultimate accomplishment. Now, every living Pokedex requires a lot of time and effort, but a couple years ago, I set out on a mission to make a living Pokedex of my own. See, I wanted a living Pokedex that reflected my journey through all of the regions that Pokemon has to offer. But see, here's the thing. Pokemon has dozens of games that are scattered across so many different consoles, and some of these games are going for well over $100. And that means that creating this type of Pokedex is going to be very time consuming, but at the same time, it could become very, very expensive. Plus, that doesn't even include the research that you need ahead of time. What kind of action replays are going to be right compatible? Did you just pay $100 for a good Why enough? does low punny look yes, like yes, an yes, yes. If you're just starting out, a living Pokedex like this can become very overwhelming. I just knew that there had to be a way to experience every game, catch all of the Pokemon in their original regions, and transfer all of them into Pokemon Home, and create a living Pokedex that is much more satisfying than it is stressful. With that being said, I have created a new living Pokedex that has garnered the name the Origin Dex. I believe that this is a really fun, but cost-effective and efficient way to get a living Pokedex while also being able to experience every single region that Pokemon has to offer. So, what is an Origin Dex? There are only three rules to completing the Origin Dex. Rule number one is obvious. You have to have one of every single Pokemon from every single region region in Pokemon Home, including mythicals, legendaries, trade evolutions, all of them. Rule number two is that all Pokemon in the Origin Dex should have the same original trainer name. Whatever name you have when you catch a Pokemon sticks with that Pokemon forever. And having the same original trainer name on all of your Pokemon means that you were the one that threw the ball and made the catch. And in my opinion, that is completely necessary when you want to really experience these games. However, there are some Pokemon that no matter what you do, they will never have your original trainer name. So really, rule number two is all Pokemon that can have your original trainer name should. And rule number three is all Pokemon in the decks should come from their original region. Each Pokemon that is deposited into Pokemon Home is given what is called a Game of Origin code. And this signifies which region that Pokemon came from. This means that every Generation 2 Pokemon in your decks should say caught in the Johto region. And five is caught in Unova, and six is caught in Kalos. You get it. And that's it. If you can meet those three simple requirements, then you got yourself an Origin deck. I'm currently in the process of completing mine now, and I've documented the entire process on my YouTube channel. You should definitely go check it out. But while doing that, I've done a ton of research, and in this video, I have outlined exactly what you need to get an Origin Dex. And my goal is to make it as fun and stress-free as possible. So what exactly do you need to complete your own Origin Dex? The first thing you gotta do is you gotta pick a name. You need to pick the original trainer name that is going to travel with you through all of these games and all of these regions. But beware, because some of the older games do not have as many characters, and Game Freak is very strict about their naughty words that you use, so just be careful with that. Ask me how I know about that, huh? The next thing you need are the consoles. All you need is a Nintendo Switch, a 3DS, and one of these Code Junkies Power Saves 3DS devices. Also, on your 3DS, make sure you have the Poke Transporter and Pokemon Bank installed. Next, obviously, you need the games. Each region requires different games, but this guide is designed to require the least amount of games possible and also gives you a few different options. And after that, all that's left to do is start catching. Now, feel free to go about this in any order that you see Fit. You don't have to have everything ahead of time, but in order to complete the decks, at some point you'll have to have all this stuff. As long as you're having a good time and you're meeting the requirements, who cares? And with all that being said, we'll start with Generation 1. 
In Generation 1, you need to catch all 151 Pokemon in the Kanto region. The easiest way to go about this would be to get a copy of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, which combined contain 150 of the necessary Pokemon. With all these games, you're going to have to trade over version exclusives and the trade evolutions and do a little bit of breeding, but overall, it is a straightforward process. The only missing piece is Generation 1's mythical Pokemon, Mew. In Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you can receive a Mew by registering the Pokeball Plus controller. You turn it on and you pretty much get Mew, but they don't make this anymore and there's only one per controller, so if you have to buy one secondhand, just be careful. Another option for Generation 1 that's a little less convenient, but much cheaper, is to buy a copy of Pokemon Red and Blue on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. Both of those games also have 150 of the necessary Pokemon, and you can receive Mew for $0, but a little extra work by doing the famous Mew glitch. I'm not going to get into that here. I've never done it. I heard it's kind of complicated, but it's also free. So there's that. Just remember, as long as it says in the Kanto region and it has your original trainer name, doesn't matter where they come from. Mix and match games, do it however you want. And that applies to everything on this list. Now for Generation 2's 100 Pokemon, you're going to have to go to the Johto region, the best region. Now your first option is to get a copy of Pokemon Heart Gold and a copy of Pokemon Soul Silver, which combined will get you every single generation to Pokemon, trade evolutions, legendaries, except for the mythical Celebi. Celebi was released as an event Pokemon in these games, and it is incredibly difficult to replicate that. For my origin decks, I used Heart Gold and Cell Silver, but I think a better option would be to go to the Nintendo 3DS eShop and get a copy of Pokemon Crystal. In just this one game, you can catch almost every Generation 2 Pokemon in Johto. However, Pokemon Crystal is missing just a few Pokemon. The Mareep line, the Remoraid line, and Girafferig. So, in order to get those, you're gonna have to get a copy of Pokemon Gold or Pokemon Silver from the eShop. Either way, with the incredibly high cost of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver right now, and the fact that you don't even get a Celebi, my recommendation would be to use the Virtual Console. And again, mix and match as you see fit, as long as you meet the requirements and are having fun, who cares? Generation 3 has 135 Pokemon that are all in the Hoenn region the worst region. Of course, you always have the option to complete the original Game Boy Advance games, but this is by far the most complicated and most likely the most expensive option. In my opinion, the best way to get the Generation 3 Pokemon is to get a copy of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. With just those two games, you can get pretty much every Generation 3 Pokemon, the Legendaries, the Trade Evolutions, and even the mythical Pokemon Deoxys is just available for you to catch them. In order to get the other remaining mythical Pokemon Jirachi, all you need is a Power Saves 3DS. It is a little anticlimactic, but it's super easy. And also a side note, every 3DS game on this list is going to require this little device. There are other ways to get the mythicals, but it's not that expensive and it's very easy. Unfortunately, Generation 4's Sinnoh region is going to be the odd one out on this list. You always have the option to use the original Generation 4 DS games, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and if you already have those, that's great, but I just can't recommend it. There's a lot of technical maneuvers that you're going to have to do to get the mythical Pokemon, of which there are five by the way. And even if you do get all the games and pay for them and do that whole process, you still can't even get Arceus. Arceus just isn't available in those games. The best option, in my opinion, is to get a copy of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. These two games combined will get you every non-mythical Generation 4 Pokemon caught in Sinnoh. But unfortunately, the events for the mythical Pokemon Fioni, Manaphy, Darkrai, and Shaman have all passed. However, all is not lost if you have a copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Legends Arceus takes place in the Hisui region, which is just what Sinnoh was called before it was Sinnoh. It's still like the same place. Now, getting Legends Arceus is already going to be a requirement for the Origin decks because it does add a handful of new Pokemon that you need to add to your decks. But in addition to that, you can catch Darkrai, Shaman, Manaphy, and Fioni However, in Pokemon Home, it will say that they were caught in the Hisui region, 
and not in the Sinnoh region. The fifth and final mythical Pokemon, Arceus, is obviously available in Legends Arceus, but if you have completed Legends Arceus game data on your console, then you get the opportunity to actually catch one in Sinnoh back on Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Generation 4's mythicals are definitely the worst offender, but since Game Freak wants to withhold Pokemon behind these stupid timed events, and since I'm the one that's making the rules for this Pokedex, I say it's okay for the Gen 4 mythicals to come from Hisui for now. Generation 5 has a whopping 156 Pokemon that all need to be caught in the Unova region. I completed this with a copy of Pokemon White and a copy of Pokemon Black, as well as one of the sequels. The two original games combined, you can catch every single non-mythical Generation 5 Pokemon in Unova. Generation 5 has three mythicals. Keldeo and Meloetta can be obtained using a trick called the DNS hack, which is very free and easy on your Generation 5 games. And the only reason you need Black 2 or White 2 is to get the final mythical Pokemon, Gensect, which you get by doing the same little trick, but you have to do it on a copy of Black 2 or White 2. Just note that the only way to catch the Weather Trio is in the original games. They are not available in the sequels. There is a way to get around this using the Dream Radar software, and that option could save you from buying three games and narrow it down to just two, but I'm not going to get into that here. If you have any questions, then just head on over to the Discord and we'll be happy to answer them. Generation 6 is a breath of fresh air with only 72 new Pokemon to catch. And to make things even easier, you only need a copy of Pokemon X and Pokemon Y to get all non-mythical Generation 6 Pokemon. And since it is a 3DS game, the three mythical Pokemon, Diancie, Volcanion, and Hoopa, can all be accessed using our trusty Power Saves 3DS. Generation 7's Alola region has 86 new Pokemon, including brand new Ultra Beasts and Regional Forms. These Pokemon are scattered across four different games, but luckily, you only need two. A copy of Ultra Sun and a copy of Ultra Moon will get you every Pokemon that you need, of course, except for the three mythicals. The first mythical, Magearna, anyone can get by just scanning a QR code after you beat the game, and boom you get Magearna. And for Zero Aura and Marshadow, you're gonna need your trusty Power Saves 3DS. And with that, Generation 7 is complete. Galar is home to the Generation 8 Pokemon, and a copy of Sword and Shield as well as the downloadable content gets you absolutely everything you need except for the mythical Pokemon Zarude. And it is with a heavy heart to tell you that the event for Zarude has since passed and I don't know of any exploits to get one into the game. Your only option really is to just get one off the internet or find somebody who has multiples that will trade with you. Luckily, it was pretty easy to get multiple and they're not that hard to get, so that's good. And as of the recording of this video, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have just recently been released. They're not even compatible with Pokemon Home yet, but as of now, in order to get all the Pokemon you need, you just need a copy of each. But from now on, we can all stay on top of the mythical Pokemon releases so we don't miss them, except for when I missed every single one of the Generation 4 releases because I'm an idiot. I also want to add that mythical Pokemon suck. In reality, this has little to no impact on like actually playing the game. The mythical Pokemon are annoying anyway. I like them to be from the original regions, but you know, who cares? This whole origin decks process is just supposed to be fun and make your journey through all the Pokemon games a little more exciting. But finding out all this information online and asking questions can be really overwhelming. And I just want to say that over on my Discord, we basically have a group of Origin Dex Masters. All of us are on there constantly answering questions. And it really is an awesome place for anyone that is interested in a living Pokedex really at all. So even if you're a seasoned living Dex veteran or you have absolutely no idea what you're doing, come stop by. It's really fun. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. Honestly, they know so much more than me. They literally helped me write the script. And like I said earlier, I am currently on my journey to complete my own Origin Dex. I stream two times a week and I make videos documenting the entire process here on my channel. And I want to because I believe completing these games is really an experience. And if you don't go through and catch the Pokemon yourself and make bonds with all these Pokemon, Pokemon on the way, then really what's the point? And if you want to see more, or if you just can't complete an origin dex on your own, then come join me and we can complete it together. If you know of any more efficient or cheaper ways to complete an origin dex, then comment those down below. And if you if you have any questions, you can comment those down below, or you can just comment to help the YouTube algorithm, you know? <laughs> with all that being said, I am a new creator, so liking, commenting, and subscribing really helps me grow. 
My name is Wolf Duckworth, the quack god, the lord of the stream, and I thank you for watching.